Good morning, guys. Happy Monday. So today I'm going to be going over um, some meal planning, some meal prepping, um, and how you can do it, incorporate it into your lifestyle as well. So if you're hopping on, um, give me a hello. Um, also, I want to know um, what your biggest obstacles are when it comes to eating. Do you feel like you're hitting a plateau? Um, you don't know what to eat. Um, there's, there's many different um, setbacks when it comes to clean eating. Um, so post them in the comments below. I want to know what's holding you back um, when it comes to clean eating and what keeps pushing you off track. Is it the cravings? Is it um, you're still hungry? There's many different um, reasons why people don't stick to clean eating. So I would like to hear them below. So if you want to post those below um, and uh, we can work through those. So I'm going to go ahead and share um, my meal plan for today. I've got everything planned out and prepped. And um, so I'm going to switch the screen over and go through everything with you. And um, so let's get started. We'll just switch this over. Okay, so I'm gonna start with breakfast. So I've got my breakfast here. This is a liter of water and I take that everywhere. Everywhere I go, um, I, and I fill it up as needed and I just sip on that all day long. And that way you're always getting your water. So for this morning, I haven't ate yet, but this is my breakfast. So I'm having warm oatmeal with fresh strawberries and some flax seed in there. So that's what I'm having. And if you can see back here, this is what I've used. So you take um, one minute uh, oats and I basically put them in my bowl here. And then um, I add some water. I put it into the microwave for one minute. Once it comes out of the microwave, I add a bit of milk and then I add uh, some flax seeds. This is a healthy fat, very good for you. So I pour some of those uh, flax seeds in. I add a bit of brown sugar, some cinnamon, and then I cut up some fresh berries. So it's super fast, super easy. Then these here are just something that I wanted to show you. Um, I take a B-complex vitamin and um, vitamin D drops. Now I'm not a doctor. Um, that's just something uh, that has worked for me in uh, giving me energy, keeping me energized. Um, I'll take that after I eat. And then the drops, I put in my morning tea every morning. So you can't taste them and you're getting uh, the goodness from that. So that's first, that's how I start my day. And then next I'll go over to uh, mid-morning snack. So I'm always talking about um, how you want to eat every um, two to three hours. Sometimes I'm eating every hour because I strength train, so my body is constantly needing those calories. It's always hungry, um, not in a bad way, but because um, in a good way that I'm strength training it and it's, it's in burn mode. Uh, my metabolism's kicked high, so I'm always, always eating. You don't want to skip meals. That's the worst thing you can do. So after breakfast, about um, two hours later, I'll have a mid-morning snack. And what I have here is a banana and some nuts. So also, so a fruit and then some healthy fats. And what I'll do is I'll dice the banana up, and then I'll just pour um, pour my um, nuts over the banana. Guys, sorry, my kitties. Um, I pour the nuts over the banana and then I mix them all together and I just eat them together. Um, sometimes nuts can be hard to consume because they're so, um, I guess, dry, bland tasting if you find that. Um, the banana just helps with that. So that keeps you going for the morning and then by that time you're ready for lunch. And what I've got here is some Greek yogurt. So it's very good protein source. I've got some more veggies. So I've got some cucumbers. And then in the bag here, I've got, it is a tuna, avocado, and cheese sandwich. 
So you can see that I've incorporated healthy fats into most of my meals here, starting with the flax seeds, the nuts. Ellie, Brooke, stop bugging her. Sorry, guys. Um, and then um, the avocado. So I'm just going to show you here. This is the tuna that I use. It is um, skipjack. So when you're looking for tuna, um, you want to look for something that is not high in mercury. Um, so mo sometimes tuna can be high in mercury. That's why they advise you don't eat it every day when you're pregnant. But um, skipjack is actually lower in mercury. So when you're looking for a tuna, try to find skipjack. So that's lunch. You're feeling great, energized. You're keeping your glucose levels uh, steady throughout the day so you're not hitting those up and down crashes. Um, and then next I'll come to afternoon snacks. So I've got some celery here. This is one of my favorite snacks. And some nut butter. So you can use um, almond butter. You can use peanut butter. And basically I just... Um, cut them into pieces and I eat it just like that and it's so yummy it's quick um, if you don't have much time at work to eat it's kind of a grab on the go and it's super filling and nutritious of course so basically I'm pretty much through my day I'm continuing to drink my water as I go refilling the liter water bottle and then we come to dinner. So today I have um, a chicken in the crock pot cooking. I like to use the crock pot a lot because um, especially if I'm working out of the house, you get home and dinner's pretty much ready. So I have that cooking. I'm gonna have some chicken tonight. Uh, I'm gonna cut up a sweet potato and have a sweet potato and then I'm gonna make a salad out of the lettuce. So I've got everything laid out for today. It took me about 10 to 15 minutes to prep. Now you can do this the night before so that it's ready to go in the morning. Sundays are typically a day where, where I like to spend, um, you know, prepping, prepping pre-cutting veggies, um, doing the grocery haul, making sure I have stuff in the fridge so that come Monday morning, you're not, um, yeah, come Monday morning, you're not grabbing at, um, you know, scrambling and there's nothing in the cupboards or the fridge to grab, you know, and then that leaves you running through drive through and just in a big old rush. So prepping is the key. So um, I also want to invite you guys, I'm holding a seven day cleaning guidance group. So I'm gonna be going over seven days worth of meals. So this is just an example of one. Um, but we want some variety in there. You want to stick with this. So um, during the seven days, we're gonna be going over different uh, menu options. Um, if, if you're gluten-free, you can go ahead and join because we're gonna be going over some gluten-free options. And um, we're gonna go over some goals and plateaus. So if you're hitting plateaus um, with your results, with your energy, you're hitting a roadblock, if you're trying to lose weight and it's not going anywhere, then this group may be for you. Nutrition and eating is the single most important aspect when it comes to achieve, achieving results. And I'm not just talking about physical results, I'm talking about, um, you know, mental results like, like um, drowsiness, brain fog, um, fatigue, nutrition can really help um, overcome and stabilize those as well. So I'm going to go ahead and post the application form below. It is $10 to join, but you do get your meal plan. Um, you get me for the, the entire week. And um, so if you're, if you're stuck, if you're feeling stuck, so go ahead and fill out the application. We're going to start in May and um, hopefully we can get you guys um, to those results where you want to go but again like I said post your roadblocks below so I can address those with you and we can talk about what's holding you back uh, what plateaus you're hitting and I better go and we'll get my kids to school so if you guys have any questions drop them below 
fill out the application and um, let's rock this clean eating thing and have a happy Monday. Bye guys.